guys in this video we are going to solve this stress by joint method uh, so first of all we have to find the reactions at point A and B at point A we have our, our other support so it would be like this AX at point D we have two reactions uh, one is dy other would be dx so first of all we are going to take the moments at point d so i'm writing summation of moments at d counterclockwise positive equals to zero so we get ax into 2.5 in the counterclockwise so it will be positive 2.5 a x okay uh, this would be zero because it is passing through the line of action of force so now uh, this force it is uh, driving in the clockwise so it would be minus 40 and distance of 3 meter and then this force again in the clockwise so it would be minus 40 distance would be 6 meter So by solving this, we get Ax equals to 144 kilo newton in this direction. So now uh, we are going to apply summation of Fx. This direction positive equals to 0. So Ax minus dx equals to 0. So Ax equals to dx ax is equal to 144 so dx wouldn't be equal to 144 kilo newton in this direction so now we can apply summation of forces in y direction positive equals to 0 so this would give us dy positive minus 20 minus 40 minus 40 equals to 0 so by solving we get dy equals to 100 kilo newton in the upward direction so now we are going to select a joint from which we have to start at point A we have 1 2 3 unknown so we cannot solve this we can start this from point C or point B so uh, I'm going to start from point C so here it is joint C so at joint C we have something like this a force of 40 kilo Newton sorry for this so this is um, BC and this would be C E uh, this is we have 3 and 1.25 so this comes out to be 3.25 by Pythagoras theorem so at here uh, we apply summation of fx equals 0 uh, so this would be it is minus C E minus because it is in the opposite direction 3 over 3.25 minus B C equals to 0 so these two are unknown so we could not uh, use this we are going to solve by uh, F Y of what positive equals to 0 so this wouldn't be CE 1.25 over 3.25 minus 40 equals to 0 so from here by solving we get CE equals to uh, 104 kilo Newton in upward direction now put this CE here 
uh, we get BC in the negative direction and its value is 96 kilo Newton or we can say BC equals to 96 kilo Newton in compression uh, this is in tension okay uh, now we are going to take joint B so I am trying joint B so this is B E 40 kN downward this is B C and this is A B so now we are going to we can apply summation of forces in y direction upward positive equals to zero okay very simple b e upward minus 40 downward equals to zero so b e equals to 40 kilo newton in tension uh, summation of f x positive equals to 0 so b c minus a b equals to 0 means a b is equals to b c so a b would be equal to uh, we have found b c 96 with minus so it would be minus 96 kilo newton or we can say a b equals to 96 kilo newton in compression okay now if we see uh, we have found this one this one this one and this one so now we can take joint a so at joint a we have like this Uh, the value of AX was 144 this is AD and this is AE and this is AB equals to minus 96 so now let's solve it I apply summation of FX positive equals to 0 uh, this would be 144 positive uh, minus 96 plus AE this is again the same 3 1.25 and 3.25 so this would be 3 over 3.25 equals to 0 by solving we get AE equals to minus 52 kilo newton or we can say a e equals to 52 kilo newton in compression so now apply summation of f y upward positive equals to zero uh, this would give a d upward so positive minus 20 and plus a e 1.25 hours 3.25 equals to 0 so by solving we get AD equals to uh, the value of A is minus 52 so by solving we get AD equals to 40 kilo Newton it is positive so it won't be in tension so finally we have left with this symbol DE so we are going to solve joint D now so I'm going to draw joint E, uh, sorry, uh, joint D. At joint D we have these two and this is was the DX and DX was found out to be 144 and this was DY found out to be 100. This is AD 
and this is B E. So we are going to apply. I think summation of F X would be easy because only two forces. So summation of F X in this direction positive equals to zero. So we have B E. Uh, this is three one point two five. 3.25 so this would be 3 over 3.25 minus 144 equals to 0 by solving we get DE equals to uh, 156 kilo Newton in tension so uh, we are uh, done with the members so now we can draw the all the members in compression or tension so I have drawn this so uh, if a member is in tension uh, for example a member D is tension so uh, this is the member AD so from point A we will draw an arrow away from point A same way from this and we will write its value it is 156 this uh, sign convention shows tension uh, and we have uh, member BC in compression so we will reverse the direction of arrows so this is like this uh, member CE was in tension so it would be move the arrows away from the joints and member B E is in tension with the value of 40 uh, this was sorry uh, 104 uh, member A B is in compression with a value of 96 uh, so we are left with member DE only sorry this was not DE DE is with my there in such 156 this was member AD so uh, AD was found out to be 40 in tension so that's all for this video Thank you very much.